Haven't done an update in about a week and a half. Um, really, because there's not much to update on. Um, been trying to test out a few things. I've been thinking about getting a couple things. As you can kind of see, the tank is pretty much the same as last time. Um, I had one minor setback, and that's what I'm going to tell you about now. Basically, it was very strange. Never had this happen before. Um, I was going into the sump to check out the skimmer and everything else down there. And coincidentally, it, the water in the skimmer rose about five inches. The skimmer chamber, I should say. Now, here's the funny thing about that. I thought, okay, well, my ATO decided to freak out. Well, it didn't, actually. And I don't know where this water came from. Very, very strange. Um, I checked my salinity, and my salinity was solid, 1.025. No issues there. Um, but, and I'll go down here and show you if you can see, um, which is very hard and I apologize, but you could see a little line right there where the, the water level was. I, I recently, a little couple hours ago, dropped the water level a little bit when I changed out my carbon and my GFO. Um, so I have no idea what that is. I don't know why that happened. Shouldn't have happened. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. I'm kind of worried about it because I don't, if, if it's my ATO, I want to make sure that you know, I'm getting that replaced, it's brand new, but uh, let me know, let me know what you guys think. Um, this weekend I'm gonna have kind of a big long video going on. Uh, I got a lot of livestock going in here. Not too much, mind you, but uh, some cleanup crew and uh, a couple of really cool fish. So maybe a coral or two, but I'm kind of thinking I'm waiting a couple weeks for a coral. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about that water thing, I'm really curious. All right, thanks a lot guys, bye.